Yo, what's up guys and welcome to some Final Cut Big Day for The Walking Dead, the final season. We got a teaser as well as some screenshots for the final season and that's pretty awesome. So this is my breakdown video as well as me going over these uh, three screenshots I believe that we have as of right now. First we'll go ahead and do the screenshots and then I'll go ahead and go into my breakdown. For the most part, I'll go ahead and begin. First screenshot we have of course is Clementine making a very menacing face at that walker while she tries to kill it. Which is looking pretty awesome, man. One thing I gotta praise with the final season is that it is looking damn good, okay? The walkers look very detailed, lots of detail to them, and Clementine looks very detailed. You can see scuff marks, as I mentioned in my, my teaser reaction, you know, you see scuff marks, very detailed scuff marks, and just very detailed, you know, design on the walkers. Very decayed, very much, and looking pretty cool. So it's her actually attacking the walker. Uh, that knife looks very familiar. It's probably a reused model. I remember that looking just like uh, Walter's knife. Not a connection or anything, but pretty much a reused model. But for the most part, Clementine in the woods right now alone. And she isn't wearing the red jacket at the moment. So this could possibly be in the future because obviously uh, I think that she will, you know, find AJ. She's wearing the red, the red jacket. And then once she finds AJ, she will probably change clothes maybe. That could be the case here. She's wearing, of course, the, you know, grayish, uh, blackish jacket. So that's pretty much what I think could happen there. But that's what I think as of right now. Let's go ahead and move on to the next image we have of Clementine. Again, with the detailed face with all these scuff marks. She needs to clean her face, okay? But, you know, of course, her looking kind of sad, looking at AJ. Just her and AJ sitting down once again. She's wearing the jacket. And, of course, AJ's over here with the hair as well. Looking nice. A walker's behind them, probably not noticing them. Not entirely sure what's going on here while they're out in the open with these walkers here. Maybe teaching AJ how to survive or how to get past walkers or something like that. That's really, that would be pretty cool to go ahead and see him actually learning from Clementine about how to get past walkers, attack walkers, and survive. So that's pretty cool. A nice little screenshot to basically show off the, the faces a little bit. How detailed they are looking very very nice in my opinion so let's go ahead and move on to the last screenshot we have basically um clementine once again in her lower cross jacket with a candle going into some kind of basement this could be the boarding school it could be definitely could be the boarding school basement not much to it definitely just her walking into a little basement area a cellar kind of a place because you can see the whole you know, opening at the top there. That's usually a kind of like look down the hatch where you open both the doors. So that's pretty cool there. Wondering what's down there and what's going to be awesome. I like the whole mysterious aspect, you know, to The Walking Dead. Because A New Frontier was going to have it with the whole slaughterhouse. So I'm hoping that season or the final season actually gets more mysterious with The Walking Dead. And have more... You know, moments like that, that would be really cool. So, I finished it from the screenshots. Go ahead and get into my trailer breakdown or my teaser breakdown. I mean, what I'm going to do is, of course, play the whole uh, teaser, and as it goes through, I'll stop it and talk about it. Okay, so let's go. Of course, this is the first moment here, uh, nothing happened yet. Okay, but. I wanted to say that it looks very, very clean and very, very nice graphically wise. The leaves move. Hopefully, they will all move. I know that's actually a a feature in you know some engines where the trees move real time without having to use animation. So that could be the case here. That would be pretty awesome. So they won't have to actually spend the work animating trees just blowing in the wind when the engine actually takes care of that for them. That would be pretty awesome. So definitely liking how it looks. The whole you know aspect of it i was wanting you know from e3 a, a detailed look of how it looks like and that's what i got with this whole teaser and i gotta say man the water looks very nice the the trees the textures of everything looks very nice and i am you know of course happy with what i got here for the most part so that's just me row 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 your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. AJ, come on. Row, 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 row your boat gently down, down the stream. If you, you see, see a crocodile, crocodile, don't forget to scream. Don't forget to scream. 
So, of course, Clementine singing along with AJ and, of course, catching a fish as well. What I wanted to go ahead and, you know, grab from this is that, you know, fish, okay? Fish, very important. So, for the most part, uh, Walking Dead hasn't really been about food or supplies for a while now. Um, in Season 1, you had to worry about supplies all the time, you know, most of the part in the story. You know, with the whole Episode 2, food was a big issue, and then, you know, supplies in Episode 3 was a big issue. So maybe they could be harping back to the whole, you know, supplies and food and all that kind of stuff with this season. Having a more safe area defined by how much food you have and supplies, that would be really awesome to see. Because A New Frontier was more about just finding, you know, people and getting them to safety not much about you know how can we get supplies to survive and i hope that this could actually be a little indication that they will focus a lot more on the whole supplies and survival and food aspect come on you love this one it's a bad song you shouldn't scream ever screaming brings monsters now of course aj mentions here that of course screaming is bad now that's very 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 good for at least someone his age he acknowledges that of course screaming attracts walkers and that's very very important because he's he's young okay he's very very young and he now knows that hey doing this stuff attracts walkers and for the most part aj has been born in the apocalypse so he has no recollection on how life was before it so that's very very interesting to see how aj kind of sees things now that you know he's like living in this monster filled world yeah you're right kiddo the song was written before when kids didn't have to worry about monsters i don't remember a time without monsters i know Now, here's a quick one that pretty much shows AJ looking at this walker in the water. Now, for the most part, I wanted to mention from this is that he's not scared of walkers. Right, as of right now, that one's actually dead, but, you know, he isn't afraid of a decaying walker in the water. So, that's pretty cool to see as of right now. I want to see how he reacts to, you know, a walker in general, a live reanimated walker. I want to see how he reacts. Can he actually take one down without being scared, or is he actually afraid? of walkers to a point where he would kind of freeze or is he okay with it has he acknowledged that he is now in this world and he has to deal with it which aj will we have here okay a a, a scared one or a a survivalist aj <laughs> what's the first rule never go alone never go alone right Okay, so the first thing that Clementine teaches AJ is to never go alone, to always pretty much have somebody with you. And that's pretty kind of weird because Clementine, uh, based on what you chose to do in season two, she can go alone. She can go alone with AJ. And that could be a bit of a, you know, a twist among those words. Does she now realize that people are needed to survive or is she still going to be like, okay, we can survive on our own. We don't need people. So does that mean that Clementine wants to find a group now or does she want to survive just with AJ? That's pretty cool. And what do we do when the monsters come? We shoot them in the head. And what else? Always save the last bullet for yourself. Okay, so this one is one that is actually pretty cool. Develop AJ a bit more, okay? So... Obviously, Clementine trusts him enough to give him a pistol. Hey, that's pretty good. He has to protect himself somehow, and pretty much, um, I don't remember in season one when Clementine was given a gun, but of course she was training with Lee, and AJ has probably been training, of course, with Clementine, and now that she trusts him with a gun, he has a gun, and he knows to aim for the head and to save the last bullet for yourself. Okay, very dark, but that is what, you know, it takes in this twisted world. If you don't think you can go ahead and kill all the walkers around you, you could be at risk of getting bitten and then, of course, turning into a walker yourself. So, you know, obviously she's telling him, hey, before it comes to that, end it, okay, end it for yourself to save yourself from becoming a walker. And that's the dark and twisted truth that AJ is now facing you can see his face is definitely sad because he's living in this world where he has to do that. And it's very unfortunate for him at least. 
Now, what do you do if I get bit? Now we're faced with the last question, you know, Clementine asking what to do if she gets bitten. And of course, that is, of course, she's looking at him for an answer, okay? The other time, she wasn't really looking at him uh, to be like, hey, you have to answer this correctly, you know? But she's looking at him with a very serious and menacing face being like, okay, What's the answer here? I need you to know this answer. It's very important. If I get bit, you know, don't let your feelings get in the way of putting me down because I don't want to come back and end up killing you as well. So that's the hard truth that she wants to point out to AJ as quickly as possible because pretty much Lee never told Clem about the possibility of him getting bitten. You know, she was never prepared for that. Clementine wants to make sure that AJ is completely prepared for if she ends up getting bitten and that he has what it takes to do what he has to do. So that's pretty much it from this little teaser. Definitely a small one, but definitely gives us a lot, okay, in terms of Clementine's relationship with AJ and the graphical, you know, look into the season, how it looks, how it performs. Definitely an awesome little teaser here. I'm satisfied, okay? Uh, we could get more at E3. They so said they wanted to go ahead and show. They wanted to go ahead and talk about some decisions they made in the story and in the game in general. So, that will be a pretty awesome thing as well. It is coming out August 14th. Um, I don't think they actually revealed the whole four episodes thing. That sounds like it could be... Yeah. But judging by the whole, you know, leak being right about the whole August 14th release date, four episodes definitely could be the case here. So, thank you guys for watching my little, little teaser breakdown and screenshot breakdown. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. It helps out a lot, okay? You can't tell me this video was awesome. Leave a like, a hey, and subscribe for more Walking Dead content on the channel. I'm in front of and I'll catch you guys next time on The Walking Dead.